I'm Scott. Welcome back to Pinard Boulevard. We're back in the hangar doing some work today. We're going to add add some heat. So the airplane has heat. It has a shroud around the exhaust and it has a small fan that draws air from around that, that exhaust shroud, heated air, from the outside and blows it in the inside of the airplane. However, that fan is a tiny little muffin fan and it blows about this much air. So it doesn't do a great job of heating the airplane, the inside of the airplane. So I got this bilge blower. This is meant for a boat to evacuate fumes out of the bilge area of the boat. And uh, I got a three inch size, even though the uh, scat tubing for the heating is actually only two inches. I adapted, I put these silicone adapters on here and then I got some aluminum two inch tube that I can clamp the scat tubing onto. And uh, the existing heat runs off a battery, a lead acid battery that's in there. It's not connected to the electrical system of the airplane. We're scrapping that. I have a, a controller. So this is the controller, a speed controller, so that I can adjust the speed of it. And I have a circuit breaker. So we're going to wire it in properly to the electrical system of the airplane, uh, which we need to do because that fan can draw three amps, which is uh, quite a bit more than the half amp that that uh, existing fan draws. Actually, I think it's 250 milliamps, so it's not much. But uh, so we need uh, that battery is not going to cut it. So we need to power it off the ship power, which we will do through uh, adding a new circuit breaker and running that off the accessory bus. So let's get to work. So the first thing I had to do was actually identify the circuit that I'm actually going to use to pull power and make sure that that had the sufficient uh, capacity to supply power for these two new circuits that I'm putting in for the EFIS battery, which I didn't mention, and the heater fan. And of course, I then need circuit breakers for both those units to protect those circuits. Uh, the EFIS battery is what I decided I was going to do first, and it is going in the front. So the EFIS backup battery is an EarthX lithium ion backup battery. It's actually designed for this purpose, and it is going to power the EFIS if the ship power dies. And there's also a hardwired charger that runs off the main bus or, or through the circuit breaker that charges that battery, keeps it fully charged whenever the power is on. So if I ever do lose power, that EFIS battery is fully charged and ready to go. All right. We're part, part of the way done. I got these uh, two uh, new breakers and they're going in right here. They're on running off the panel power and that powers this charger right there. So you can see the charger is on and it's showing that it's charging and it is charging that EFIS battery right there. And the reason we have that EFIS battery there is that is the EFIS backup so that even when all the power is off and I've lost all system power, I can turn this button on right here and my EFIS runs. And that will actually run that off that battery up in the front and that battery charges continuously as long as the ship power is turned on. So now onto the heat. So the heat was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Uh, not so much the wiring. All I had to do was get a wire pulled from the front to the back to uh, power it and then hook into that existing switch for the old heat system. But physically fitting the fan in there in place of the old one was a challenge. I thought I had uh, engineered it to match the size of the old fan, but it turned out mine was about... Uh, Oh, about two inches longer. So it, it did take a little bit of finagling to get it to fit in there. Uh, but I did get it done and it, it fit in there quite well and, and it worked very well. But of course, I had to tear apart the whole back end of the airplane because I had to run wires and, and uh, it, it fit everything in properly. So put it together. Well, it's taken all day. As you can see now, it's dusk. And I've been here since 10 o'clock this morning, but I do have my new heater fan installed and I can turn it on down here. There's my heating duct control and heating fan control. And I also have my EFIS button here that I can turn on that energizes my uh, Garmin G3X and also the, uh, the 
engine control panel that's back there so I can actually turn on the EFIS and see my oil pressure before I start the engine, which is a fantastic thing. And then I have two new circuit breakers here. The top one is the charger for the EFIS backup battery, and the second one is for the uh, the heater fan. So those are two things that have been on my list for quite a while, and I'm pretty happy that they're now in and installed. So if you like this video, you want to see more like it, have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Click like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it if you would, and uh, we'll see you back again here soon. Thanks for watching.